Hi YouTube, this is Patrick and this is my review of Walking Dead Season 3 Episode 2. Uh, I'm feeling a little under the weather, which I said in the Dexter video. If you didn't watch it, I'll just repeat it here. Uh, so this is going to be a not unedited uh, review, so a little less coherent maybe. But I'll try to keep it halfway decent. Anyway, uh, I like this episode. That's an airplane going over my apartment. This would normally get edited out. Um, so anyway, this episode uh, I thought was better than last week's premiere. And I say that because... And not to reiterate, but my favorite moment of the series was in the, the pilot with, um, you know, Rick Hill and the bicycle girl and the, uh, the other guy shooting his wife. Because it did, it blended this element of horror, dread, and, um, you know, just some emotional drama in one. This, ep and all I really want out of this show is to kind of have that in an episode. Not a particular scene like that, or not in every scene. You know, because some episodes have more elements of, you know, action and some more character episodes. But I just want an episode that can, or a show that can blend the horror and the drama and the, you know, just the dread. I want it to feel kind of seamless. I think that's the potential of how good, of where the show can be. If it does that, then it'll be, you know, doing, I think, the absolute best it can do, at least for me anyway. And this episode, after the first 20 minutes, this episode kind of had that element to it. Uh, starting off with the uh, the prisoners that they found. First of all, there was definitely more than one zombie chasing them when they were when they brought Herschel into that room. So that was kind of weak that they opened it like that. But whatever. Um, the whole thing with the prisoners, you know, it was again it gave us some horror and action elements. I love the prison and the uh, the lighting and everything. It was even even a little funny with the prisoners just attacking the zombies, not listening. Um, and the whole thing, I'm glad they took care of that one asshole that tried to kill Rick, pretty much. I'm glad just Rick, you know, the whole shit happens and just killed him. That really helps you, you know, show you where Rick's character is and where, you know, T-Dog and Daryl had no problem with it. And uh, where they all are, basically. So, yeah, I, um, I liked all that stuff. It was stupid to see Rick chase the guy, but Rick just letting the guy get killed, like, that was unnecessary. So there was a bit of awful that uh, I expect. And even leaving the other two guys in the other prison room it was just like this really just sense of like ugh. and um see all that stuff was good um t-dog got some lines finally uh daryl's still great and you know good good job andrew lincoln in this episode he was really strong and um well, the rest of the episode with everything with herschel that was kind of where the emotional like elements came into it uh i thought the scene with him and maggie where maggie just basically tells him to let go was actually really well done uh, really surprisingly kind of effective out of nowhere pretty much and um, the moment completely ruined by the Talking Dead commercial right after so good job AMC on that one but the um, like that's what I mean like the episode had moments a moment like that plus the other stuff with the prisoners plus the stuff with Carol and Glenn outside Carol thinking I'm gonna have to do a c-section and um, you know the characters doing stuff of importance that you know matters and it's you know it's happening within like this this world that you know that the sense of they're doing it because of that they live in this world pretty much you know it's, it didn't feel filler it just felt like it was important for them to be talking about these things or doing these things so um, yeah so I liked it much more and Carl Carl's still an idiot but at least he did something useful um, and uh, I don't care about Lori and uh, Rick's marriage, but they don't really seem to care either. So, you know, it's basically more about getting the baby delivered. Um, they're doing a better job with Lori, I guess, so far. But, uh, yeah. And I'm happy to see that Herschel's still alive. It's a good fake out on them. That's another good thing. The show, you know, could kill anyone off. So, um, when they don't, it's kind of a surprise. And uh, I actually thought we were going to lose Carol there because someone was watching her at the end. I don't know who that is. But uh, maybe it was Merle. AMC ruined it again by showing Merle in the preview. Uh, but Merle could be with the governor who we're going to meet next week, along back with Andrea and everything. Now that everything in the prison is, like, settled in and, you know, we all know where we're at, basically. So uh, I'm looking for next week's episode to be a bit, s not maybe slower paced, but it's going to be more introductory stuff with the new characters and everything. Uh, but it should be interesting. And, uh, again, I hope the show can keep it going the way it, w it did in this episode. So yeah, it's all going to talk about. Sorry, again, this is short. I just, um, I'm not really feeling well. So, uh, so yeah, I will talk to you guys next week. Um, 